Hey, Carrie, how are you today? Good, Jacqueline, how are you? I'm great. So thank you again for meeting today to talk about your progress and the results and everything that's been happening for you. Okay. Is it okay great. for some questions and get started? Absolutely. Awesome. So Carrie, what was the pain, what was your pain situation before you started the program? Um, I have very, um, very bad arthritis in both my knees. And I want to say before we started, it was definitely had gotten worse and the pain was on a scale of one to 10, about an eight to 10 some days, um, just almost in some days having to use a cane to get around for support. Right. And it was, it was, it was getting bad. Yeah. So how many days a week, um, how often was the pain? that intense? I, I would say four to five days out of the week, I would have some pretty intense pain. Yeah. And what did it stop you from doing? Um, a lot of activities. I stopped, you know, I used to like to go walking. We have a beautiful bike trail here in town and I like to go walking on it. Um, I stopped doing that. Um, I stopped, you know, stopped doing activities with the kids. Um, even going to the mall was a chore and I had to think, you know, how long can I make it before I got to go find a place to sit down? And, you know, it, it was just, it was terrible. It, it made me start to avoid wanting to go and do things. Right. Yeah. And what was that was, what was that like? I mean, you, you're a busy mom, you have two teenage daughters and who are <laughs> very <laughs> active and wanting to do things. And what was that right. like, knowing that you were you wouldn't be able to do those things. It was really hard. And, and what's worse was they would feel bad and they would, you know, they would say, it's okay, mom, I understand. You know, and that's, that's terrible. It's like, this isn't how I should be at 45 years old. Yeah. You know, this is, this is not how I want to be. It's not, not how I want to live. Yeah. Yeah. I can really feel the, the sadness and the, the frustration on both yeah you as a yeah. mom and them as daughters right want to do things with their mom right right yeah um so i'm guessing that before you started the program you may have been a little skeptical in the beginning about if it would work and what we were going to be doing what was that what were you thinking about that in the beginning um i you know for me, it was more so, is this something I'm going to follow through on? I think that was a big thing. I think I was more skeptical of myself, more so than even the program. I think um, I, I, I had to really, I, I, as am, I, am I going to do what I need to do to make this work? Mm -hmm. um, so that, that was part of my hesitation. But I think I, I reached that rock bottom, people say, where I'm like, I, I can't go on like this anymore. I want to make a change. And I, I reached that point. And because I realized I, I had a, a moment where a situation happened where it was a very stressful, very emotional situation. And I spent three days after that not being able to walk, like in excruciating pain. And it was that aha moment that my emotional pain was directly causing my physical pain. And, and I'd heard that before, and you have mentioned that to me before, and it was so clear in that moment. And I was like, I'm ready to do this. I've got to fix this. I've got to, I've got to find a way to get past this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what, what were some reasons that would have stopped you from doing this program? Um, I think at one point I, I considered financially, I started thinking about that, but that quickly went out of my head because I said to myself, I, I would, if it was one of my children needed something, you know, I, I wouldn't even give it a second thought. The money, I, and I said, why, why wouldn't I do that for myself? And so, uh, you know, my, money came into my head, but pretty much left pretty quickly when I, I really had to say to myself, no, this you have to do just like anything else, you know? Um, Again, the other part was I was holding me back was would I follow through? Would I stick to what I need to do? Because I know me and I know, you know, 
and it's baby steps and I'm not all the way there. And I know that this is a journey. This is, this is a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> so, you know, th those were definitely the things that were, were start, were, were somewhat holding me back. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's common for most moms. We will do anything for our kids. Right. We make our right. loans and <laughs> stop yeah. doing everything for ourselves. But when it comes to ourselves, yeah. Right, right. The rock bottom to say it's yeah. yeah. Right, right. So, how did you know um, when things be were beginning to change? I, 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 it was an aha moment again. It was like I started realizing, wow, I'm. I know it was emotional first. It wasn't the physical. I think, I think I, I think there was physic physically. I was feeling better, but I was so used to the pain that I pushed the pain away. Like I don't even, you know, and so I didn't really notice the pain going away as much as I noticed emotionally. Every time we had a session, it was like more clarity and more clarity. And I realized I was doing more for myself than I ever did before. I was putting time aside for myself. I was spending more time with my friends and not feeling guilty about it. Yeah. That was like the biggest shift. It was like, no, I need this. I need my <laughs> girlfriends. I need time away from the, the craziness of being a mom. I just want to go be a woman. <laughs> yeah. And that's, you know, so hard to do. That's the shift that I found, that I was taking more time for me. And then I was feeling better. And then everyone around me is, sees, you know, acts a little differently. And almost is like kind of, you know, I, I don't feel guilty because I don't feel like they're going, oh, she's not spending time with us. I think now they're kind of realizing, hey, mom needs that, you know, or hey, my wife needs time away. And so there's been a shift in the whole, the whole household. And I'm handling rough situations so much better. I'm not jumping into it, it with an emotion, a complete emotional breakdown. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm being more, okay. How are we going to solve this? You know, and things are resolving easier, you know, some things, not everything, but, but it's definitely, I've seen such, I have felt such a shift and, and, um, in emotionally, and that's helping physically. Mm. You know, it's making me, I'm realizing that, wow, I'm walking a lot better. I'm not limping. And I'm like suddenly realizing how much I'm doing that I didn't realize I was holding back from. So that's, you know, that, that's been and great. <laughs> yeah, that, that's beautiful. And you said something really profound. I didn't even think before that so many women become moms and wow, we stop being a woman. We stop being desirable and attractive. And um, it is kind of sad when we give up all those things that those parts of us that no, nope. right. <laughs> right. Trying to put yeah. that back on hold. I got to like focus, give my, all my energy here. And right. Right. Yeah. And we don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you've been coming to me on and off for a few years. Mm -hmm. And recently you've joined my online program. So even though we're, we are not in the same room where I'm not touching you physically, why do you think you're getting such good results of getting out of pain? I really feel you have an amazing way of getting to the actual, what's really going on. And it's like, you have this like sixth sense. Like when we can talk about something and you just can delve into it when we start tapping and you hit right on what the real problem is. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it, and it's like light, like I always say, it's like a light bulb goes off because I'll say something, but you'll, you'll repeat it back in a different way that completely clarifies mm -hmm. and, and just makes it go, oh, that's why I feel that exactly. And then, so it's almost like, it's almost like therapy. It really, <laughs> it's, it's amazing that, and when we start peeling away the layers and we get down to the real problem and we, and we start addressing and dealing with that, it's just, 
it, it just, it, it clears, it clears that from your body and that that's what's clearing away the pain. Mm -hmm. And so it, it yeah, it, it's, it's amazing, but it's something you have some sort of gift. And I hear not only with me, but with the other ladies in the group, how you are able to draw out what is going on. And it's, you know, and sometimes it's just a simple phrase and it goes, oh, Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> and then we get to the heart of it. And, and it's just, so I think that has a lot to do with it. It's just, it's, it's talking it out and it's working it out. And then, and then, and the tapping seems to just, you know, it, it draws it. It's all I can, that's the only way I can describe it. It draws it out of you. Hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. This has really been a passion of mine to, when we get to the root cause, because so many people say, well, I have to do physical therapy or I have to be touched. I have to touch the physical body where, you know, what we've been seeing is that we're going on healing the trauma that's from the past. And when we heal that trauma, the energetic body can just heal on its own and the pain goes away. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And again, again, I'm, I'm not a psychotherapist. Um, it's, more of just coaching and directing right. right energetically releasing all that trauma from the body where then you are able to just live your life right so what is your life like now how is your pain my pain levels have um definitely decreased i mean i have my my tough times are the mornings is when you first wake up and really have to work it out. And, but when I'm finding myself throughout the day, not feeling, I, I have more energy. I'm getting through the day. Um, I'm, I'm just more positive. Mm. Because I don't feel, I don't feel so overwhelmed by like, Oh, there's never going to be an end to this. And I feel now like, yes, there is going to be an end to this. And I'm, and I, I'm seeing the progress and I know it's going to take time and, but I'm making those steps. And I think it's, um, I, I just, I just feel more positive lately. And I just, and it, like it's, 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 it's affecting everything. It's affecting, you know, um, everything I do, you know? And, and so it's, it, it's good. It feels good. It feels yeah. really good. So not only is your pain down and less often when it does yeah. back, cause we all use our bodies. So it's not to say you'll never be in pain, but it's right. there as long as the intensity isn't as bad and you don't have it as long and you have right. tools now to help you get out of pain. Right. Right. So what's it like now for you to have no pain to do more with the girls and, and live your life? Oh, it's really good. It's wonderful. It's like we're making plans to do more things and, and it, it's just, it's enjoyable, you know, and I, I want, this is that time I want to have with them, you know, because I don't know how much longer I will have. So I want to be able to do these things with them. And, you know, and I, I want to show them that, you know, they can do whatever they want to do too. And I, I don't want them to see me not doing things. I want them to see me um, healthier and happier because it will affect them, you know, and it'll show, it'll, it, you know, it's, I want to pass on those, those positive role model. I want to be a positive role model for them, you know, so that's important to me. Yeah, beautiful. And, and it is true that, you know, when we're in pain, we get into that negative downward spiral where we, we we're not open. Um, right. It's nice that you were able to shift into now seeing the possibilities and what that opens up. So that's really right. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you say to someone else who is in pain and is skeptical um, that something like this could work and about joining the program? I would say you, you have to try it. You have to give it a chance for you. Give yourself, give yourself a gift. Mm. And, and that gift is, you know, is, is changing your life for the pop, for the, for the best. I'd say, give it, give it a try and you'll be amazed. The, the, the shift you will make in your, in your body, in your mind. I mean, it's, it's just, 
it's just, it's amazing. It really is. <laughs> and I do tell other people about them all the time. I was like, you've got to try this. Because <laughs> I know so many women who have, and, and I see it, I see how their emotions affect their pain in their bodies. And I'm like, that's what you got to fix. <laughs> it's the yeah. pain, it's your emotional pain, you know? So I, 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 I can't say it enough, you know? It's take, you know, popping pills to make the pain go away is only masking the problem. It's not healing. And that's, you know, so that's what I want to, I would say just try it. You have to try it and be open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Carrie. I am so excited for your success and I appreciate thank you and talking to us today and I look forward to your future. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to it too. Thank you, Kara. Have a great day. You too, Jacqueline. Bye.